Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. That's a great rundown of guests you saw in the open, but we continue with great guests. I'm Steve Adubato. This is at NJTV Studio in Newark. And this is Jody Joseph Bon Jovi. Yeah. And she's the founder and president of an organization called Heartstrings, which is? A nonprofit that helps underprivileged children and adults to use music to enhance their lives. Why is so. that so important? Well, because... Um, I'm a living, breathing example of what it's done for me. I've used songwriting and singing as a way in which to vent, as a way in which to be able to express my feelings, my hurts, my joys. And um, not everybody gets that opportunity. Mm -hmm. I teach privately, and um, when I had some people go in hard times, I would just carry them and say, don't worry about paying. And I realized, what if I made this on a really big scale? And my account says, you're crazy. Well crazy I am, I said, I'm going to do this. And I met up with people that knew what they were doing. And several times I thought this is something I probably shouldn't have gotten into. But we're two years strong, and we've touched the lives of so many people through music. Mm. So. You grew up in a musical family? Yes. But I'm older than John, so. I didn't even ask you about John. <laughs> I, I wasn't kidding. going to. It's OK. So I, you, oh, you do know that guy? Yeah, first cousin. Music all around? My grandfather was a self-taught musician who never graduated. Um, I think he didn't even graduate eighth grade. And he played the accordion and every single instrument. Wow. And um, I had a lot of talent. My, my first cousin was uh, Robert Hedges uh, from Welcome Back, Cotter. My brother was married to Bob Newhart's daughter. So it's always been, like, all over around me, like, pew, 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 you know? That's so interesting. Yeah. So, so now with heartstrings. <clears throat> What do you do for these kids, and where do you do it? Because you and adults. With, and adults. Yeah. Give us an example. Well, um, one of the places that we visit is New Hope at Discovery, and that's in Marlboro. That was our, I guess, our pilot. And um, it was very scary going in because these, you know, you're not going into something that is nice and cushy. You're going into broken, a broken environment. You know, these kids are there. A lot of them don't want to be there. Um, the sad part is uh, I bought music therapy and for songwriting, and one of the girls I was working with, you know, I mean, the sadness of how she got the drugs, with the story behind it, was just devastating. This is a drug rehab? And so. alcohol, and I guess self-abuse. Um, some of them are, you know, they have to go there because the state puts them there. Other times they volunteer. Sorry well, for well first in? of all, they have to have outlets. How do you, you know, what do you do with that? So we bought in a songwriting program, guitar, piano, and also beats, which is where they can sure. uh, write to uh, rap. And um, I think the best thing that I've ever heard is that we go there on Tuesdays. They said that Tuesdays are their favorite day. It's that's what they look forward to the most. What does that do for you? I can't leave there without crying. I just am so uplifted by what it's doing. Um, we just had a little mini concert there last week, and um, it's just, it's amazing. The power of music and healing is just phenomenal. And, um, you know, I'm always on the other side of it a lot, where I have to, my begathons, my concerts. We were talking about know. raising money yeah, before. Yeah, You don't love that part, but you love no. what you do, so therefore, no money, no mission, you raise the money. Yeah, and I, I have an amazing uh, board right now, and my, my VP is here with me, Diana Welch. She's amazing. Everybody that is part of it is really helpful. And they're, 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 I'm, I'm only one part of I'm one spoke in the wheel. What impact do you think it has on these kids? I know all the people who are connected to it. Um, well, you know, we, we also work with adults. And um, I think that when I'm with Dawn and uh, she comes to the house for private training, she uh, was in 180 uh, turning lives around which is a safe house. And um, she now is through Amanda's easel, and that program is allowing her to come to me and my team one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. And she says stuff like, "You." she starts to cry. Like, you have no idea what this has done for me. It gives them purpose, it gives them outlets, and it gives them confidence that they have something that is their own, their very, very own. So, when, you know, Judy, when you were a little kid, you said you, you think you wrote your first song at 11 to your parents about smoking. Yeah. Um, so I was, I was communicating right then, you it, know, because you can't go to a parent and say, quit smoking, so I wrote them a song. Well, you could, but they the said, song... They said, how had, cute, you it, know? It, well, here's what I'm trying to get at. 
Has music been largely your way of communicating with the world from as far back as you can remember? Largely. I, I Not exclusively. I have to honestly tell you, if I'm upset, like, or angry or excited, I can't help myself. I just go right, sit down with a guitar in my hands and I start writing. It's just... Is it mostly guitar for you? Uh, yeah, mostly. But sometimes I'll just sit there and start singing a melody or I'll start writing. You know, I it, it, I don't know, the chicken or the egg. It just all happens Doesn't sometimes matter. at once. It's just no, music. it just has to come out. What's the future of Heartstrings? Oh, I hope it grows into its own entity as far as a building that we have and I can reach so many, many, many more. We're in five facilities. And by the way, speaking of fundraising, you're funded by one of the financial institutions we know well, yes. investors. Yes, they are. I'm here today because of the connection, so they're helping us, and we're really, really happy about that. Yeah, they also help our friends at the Montclair Film Festival as well. They're very much into uh, the arts. By the Wonderful way, people. Uh, corporate and philanthropic foundation support is what keeps us going. It's also what keeps your nonprofit, Heartstrings, going. I know Heartstrings was, uh, the website was up during this segment. Jared, I want to wish you all the best. Continue to make a difference that you're making every Thank day. Thank you. I appreciate Very that. Very well done. Thank okay. you. Okay. I'm Steve Arabato. This is One on One, and we'll be right back after this. One on One with Steve Arabato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 30 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Investors Bank, the Turrell Fund, supporting right from the start NJ, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Choose New Jersey, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, Community Food Bank of New Jersey, and by University Hospital, Newark, New Jersey. Promotional support provided by ROINJ and by New Jersey Globe. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.